Hello my dear family members, today we will quickly cover some important and previously asked common application and image office questions that may come again. So let's start. So the first question is the ability to combine name and addresses with a standard document is called what? Okay, without any delay, I am just quickly answering, right? So the answer will be mail merge. If you can answer, then please give me your answer in the comment box before I answer, right? Okay, the next question is which enables us to send the same letter to different persons, macros, template, mail merge or none of the above. Okay, the next answer will be also mail merge. Actually, mail merge is a useful tool that allows us to produce multiple letters, labels, envelopes, name tags and more, right? Using information stored in a list, database or spreadsheet. Okay, the next question is, a word processor would most likely be used to do what? Keep an account of money spent, do a computer search in a media center, maintain an inventory or type a biography okay before i answer let me explain a little that a word processor is used to manipulate a text document such as a resume or a report we typically enter text by typing and the software provides tools for copying deleting and various types of formatting right so in the from the following options type of biography will be the correct answer right okay the next question is what is gutter margin please read the question margin that is added to the left margin when printing or margin that is added to the right margin when printing actually guys this is repeatedly asked very important question believe me i have already solved this question i mean we have already discussed in the previous video though i am adding this in the in this video because this is very important right so the answer of this question will be margin that is added to the binding side of page when printing right okay this will be the correct answer right before i proceed to the next question i would request you to please subscribe this channel to get such content and all on campus questions of accenture right and i will provide a, an important link in which you will find all important image of his questions right so please subscribe okay let's question the next question is which can be used for quick access to commonly used commands and toolbars from the options the correct option will be toolbar right in what 2003 toolbar is used for quick access to commonly used commands and tools right okay the next question is which of the following is not essential component to perform a mail merge operation actually word fields these three that means main document data source merge fields are the essential part of mail merge but word fields is not right okay the next question is a quiz question for you please pause the video and try to solve the problem when the language bar is dash restored hidden minimized or closed it means that you do not see it on the screen but it will be displayed that next time you start your computer so what will be the answer please give me the answer in the comment section there will be more two or three quiz questions please give all the answers in a single comment right okay the next question is autocorrect was originally designed to replace dash words as you type short repetitive grammatically incorrect misspelled none of the above what will be the correct answer okay let me answer that autocorrect was originally designed to misspelled uh, words as you type right so this will be correct answer right okay the next question is home keys uses for what moves the cursor to the beginning of the document moves the cursor to the beginning of the paragraph or moves the cursor to the beginning of the screen or this what will be the answer the correct option will be moves the cursor to the beginning of the line actually uh, when we type home key then in which line we are typing the cursor will be at the starting point right okay the next questions will be from shortcut so all the questions were asked in previous time that's why i included in this video right so please pause and try to give the answer before i answer right 
okay the answer will be moves the cursor one word right right so option a will be correct answer okay the next question is end key is used to what so the among the options the option a will be correct answer moves the cursor to the end of the line right okay the next question is control plus page down is used to what moves the cursor one paragraph down moves the cursor one page down moves the cursor one line down or one screen down these are very important and confusional right so that's why they give one questions will be among them right so please think and give the answer so control plus page down is used to moves the cursor one page down right so option b will be correct answer so next question is a quiz question for you please pause the video and try to give the answer control plus down arrow is used for what right okay the next question is page up key is used to what page up key is used to move the cursor one screen up right okay the next question is control plus left arrow is used to what this is used to move the cursor one word left at a time right one word left actually if you used ms word or any application of microsoft once in your life then you can answer these questions but these are confusional that's why they ask right okay the next question is page down key is used to what moves the cursor one line down one page down one screen down one paragraph down what will be the correct answer actually the mistake is here that seeing the name page most of the students think that the answer will be move the cursor one page down but this is not answer right actually the answer will be page down key is used to move the cursor one screen down okay the next question is control plus page up is used to what is used to move the cursor one page up right in this case not one screen up right this is confusional okay the next question is a quiz question for you control plus up arrow is used to for what we have already seen that control plus down arrow is used for uh, moves the cursor one paragraph down right so in this case think what will be the correct answer okay the next question is control plus home is used to what okay i am answering control plus home is used to actually move the cursor to the beginning of the document at the first of the document right so option a will be the correct answer okay the next question and the last question of the video that is control plus end is used to what moves the cursor to the end of the line to the end of the document to the end of the paragraph or what okay the answer will be move the cursor to the end of the document as this is doing this control plus home is uh, doing this then obviously the opposite function will be done here right control plus end okay i hope you have gathered a little information and little knowledge about ms office so if you think this was helpful to you then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question accenture on campus ms office question right so thank you for today's session